we're having futuristic babies. Whoa, are they gonna be robots or something? Only one way to find out. I'ma spawn mine in. Oh, hey, Dad. Where's our hovercraft? Uh, hovercraft? We don't have one of those yet. Uh, Dash, it looks like your kid's getting disappointed. And, uh, uh, no, no. I was about to build him a hovercraft. Hold on. Uh, baby Dash, you gotta go for now. Wait, what? No! I already know what I'm building. I'm gonna build the craziest futuristic house ever. And wait, you're building a futuristic house? Well, I'm gonna build a futuristic mansion for my kid. Well, I'm gonna build a futuristic flying mountain boat thing uh, for my child. All right, all right. Well, anyways, I know exactly what I'm gonna build. This is gonna be so sick. Let me just grab a little bit of uh, everything concrete related. I'm gonna grab some concrete. And Ooh, wait, I also need to grab some pistons because I'm gonna make an epic uh, door for my house. I'm not even building a house. I'm building a floating spaceship. You're building a spaceship? Okay, that sounds pretty crazy. But here, let me just uh, lay out the outline of my house. I guess I can have it go like this. And let me set the walls into some concrete. Boom, there we go. And here, let me make the walls go a little bit higher as well. So like this tall seems about good. And all right, all right. Anyways, I have a perfect idea for how I'm gonna get inside of my house. What I'm gonna have is an epic automatic piston door. So let me just put some uh, pistons over here like that and some concrete powder like this. And now all I gotta do is just connect both of these up with some redstone. So just like this, there we go. I think this should power both of the pistons at once. Then yes, check it out. That works perfectly. All right, let me do the same over here on this side. And uh, now I have to connect both of these uh, the piston things together. So I guess what we can do is just have it go underground like this. Yeah, this should work. Let me just connect them all up like that. And now whenever I flick this lever over here, both of the pistons should activate. And yes, check it out. Look, it's like a perfect door. Now let me just move this redstone all the way over here on the outside of the house. And uh, I guess we can just have the lever for the door be right over here. And oh, wait, I, I, I forgot to fill in the floor. Uh, let me fill in that floor really quick. And there we go. Now the door is looking perfect. That looks sick. Well, I'm glad you're having fun with your door, but uh, I'm building my spaceship. And whoa, what the? Wait, your spaceship is looking kind of like uh, a boat right now. What is this? Well, I mean, it makes sense, right? It's, uh, it's just a flying boat. And oh, yeah, I mean, I guess that's why it's called a spaceship. And whoa, wait, Ruby, what are you building? This looks sick. Oh, yeah. I just thought that I would just stack some buildings together. Doesn't it look futuristic? And whoa, yeah, it looks very futuristic, I will say. But anyways, I gotta get back inside of my house. I just put this slab over here because if I put a normal block, then it's gonna like block off the redstone. So I'm just gonna use this random purple slab. And all right, that's looking sick. Let me just head on the inside really quick. Uh, wait, I can't really go on the inside. I have to kind of like time it perfectly. Oh, wait, I just got stuck in my door. Dash, are you okay? Yeah, 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 it's fine. I just got to uh, time my door perfectly. Come on, I need to outrun it. Let's go and, okay, hold on. You know what I can do? I need to put some repeaters over here so that I have some time to outrun my door. Let me just open it up and run. Let's go, I made it through. Why do you have a door that you have to outrun? And, dude, it's important, okay? It's gonna train my futuristic baby to be fast, yeah. Because, you know, running fast is very important. Um, okay, from what? You know, for running from aliens and stuff in the future, okay? It's gonna be a very important skill baby Dash needs to learn. But anyways, now let me just cover up all of this redstone to make everything look nice. And then I can get started on the inside of my house. All right, well, while you're teaching your kid how to run, I'm gonna teach my kid how to fly. Spatial. Ooh, all right, well, oh, wait. I definitely have to build a hovercraft as well since the baby Dash requested that. But anyways, now that I've got my front door done, what do I need to build first inside of a house for a futuristic baby? Hmm. Well, he wanted a hovercraft, right? And yeah, you're right. And wait a minute. I think I know how I can build one of those. Okay, what I need to do is build like a little hovercraft at the platform area. So let me grab some stairs really quick. And uh, let's see, I need to find some cool looking purple ones. And ooh, these ones look pretty sick. All right, we're just gonna have these stairs go up over here on the house just like this. And uh, yeah, I think this should be high enough. Here, let me grab some fences as well. And ooh, these purple fences look pretty nice. Let's just have these fences go on the side of the fence. And all right, what we gotta do is make this hovercraft area go outside because I don't think driving a hovercraft indoors is a very good idea. And here, I'm just gonna build a little platform out over here just like this. There we go. That is looking pretty sick. And all right, here is where we can build our hovercraft. All right, and I'm pretty sure I actually know how to build a hovercraft. All we need is some uh, pistons, some sticky pistons, some uh, observers, and ooh, some slime blocks. That's gonna be very important. And all right, here, let me get started on the hovercraft. All I need to do is just uh, have some slime blocks over here like this. And I need to have these slime blocks over here and then two over here. And okay, this looks good. Now let me grab some sticky pistons and just put those over here like this. There we go. And then I need to uh, put an observer over here facing this way. That looks good. And then also one more observer facing this way. And check it out. Look, I have a hovercraft and it actually works. And, uh, wait, hold on. How do I stop this? Oh gosh, oh gosh. Wait, I think I need to grab some obsidian. Let me just place some obsidian over here before it runs into the wall. And okay, perfect. There we go. But guys, that was so 
awesome. Do you guys just see? I made a hovercraft. Um, no, I didn't see, but we'll see you later. Yeah, but is it as cool as my spaceship? And, uh, I'm not gonna lie. It might be cooler. Does your spaceship actually move? Uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Look, it's moving right now. And, uh, dude, it doesn't look like it's moving very much. But look, my hovercraft actually moves. It's so awesome. I'm pretty sure it can move this way as well. And look at that. It can literally go any direction. That is so awesome. Uh, how do you stop it? And, uh oh, it's pretty simple. All you gotta do is just put down some obsidian over here and check it out. That is awesome. And all you have to do to start it is just grab like a flint and steel or something and just like light this thing on fire and yeah it'll, it'll go to the other side it's pretty sick i know yeah but you can't go up or down you can just go this way and that way hey you cannot be talking right now okay you can't even move on yours at all so uh i'll figure out a way to make you move you know this is the future i'll find out a way okay okay we'll see about that but anyways here i gotta make my hovercraft look a little bit cooler and i'm pretty sure i can just like extend it by just uh, putting some slime blocks here so uh let's just have some slime blocks over here uh, these could look like wings or something i i, I don't really know I, I, hopefully dash baby likes this Ooh, wait, wait, wait. what we could do is put some rails down over here like uh this there we go and let me just uh, put some slime blocks there like that there we go and let me also grab some mine carts and boom check it out now we've got like actual seats on it and wait is this actually gonna work let me try this out and let me just oh wait what, why isn't it working okay maybe it's too heavy i think i need to break some blocks let me just get rid of all of the unnecessary blocks that we don't need and okay i think that was everything let's try this out again and oh my god okay it kind of worked the slide okay that that didn't work at all actually okay okay well maybe we can't have chairs but at least we can have some uh the wings on the side yeah and, wait a minute hold on this actually gives me a really good idea maybe we can't have chairs what if i try using some of these chairs over here is this gonna work let me put that down over there and let's try doing this and oh my gosh check it out we've got a chair on the hovercraft and wait wait can we put one on the other side as well uh, let me stop the hovercraft really quick let me just put that there and let's just put another chair down over here and let's uh let's put it in flying mode again and, oh my gosh check it out that is awesome uh, cam i've literally got chairs on my hovercraft oh yeah well do you have a captain's chair on your ship i didn't think so a captain's chair oh well not right now but let me just put a chair over here and yep now i've got a captain's chair let's see does it still fly and yep it still flies although the captain's chair it only looks one way so you better be flying this way what the what the heck is this wait hold on i think the chair is duplicated why is there four of them now over here uh, okay I, I don't know what's going on this is a pretty cursed flying machine but yeah i mean it works I, it gets the job done uh, i'm gonna leave you to your shenanigans or whatever this is hopefully this is what baby dash wanted when he said he wanted a hovercraft but anyways now that the hovercraft area is done uh, let me just put like a few stairs over here so that dash baby can easily get onto his hovercraft nice and yeah there's gonna be sick he's gonna be able to like fly circles in the backyard and it's gonna be so epic but hmm, what else is a futuristic baby gonna want in his house um what about a kitchen how is he gonna get food oh yeah you're right the food okay uh the, well i guess i can build a kitchen next let me just uh go over here and yeah i can build a kitchen in this corner of the house here let me just make a little room for it so i can select this position and this position over here and let me set this all into some purple concrete boom there we go and yeah this entire area can be the kitchen because food is that uh, it's important and ooh, here just to make it look nice i'm gonna set the roof into some purple stained glass because uh, who wants a normal roof when you can have a stained glass am i right but anyways now let me just uh, open this area up and let me grab a door and oh wait hold on this door looks uh, pretty futuristic i guess we can uh, have here we go yeah nice look at that we got futuristic open sliding doors but anyways since this is gonna be the kitchen the first thing i need to get are some tables so let me just put down a bunch of tables around here or actually i think i can put down more tables let me put one on this side and one on this side over here yeah yeah we can have multiple tables so that baby dash can like bring over friends and stuff if he wants to but anyways let me just put down all of these tables and seats down just like this let's put down the same over here on this side awesome looking good but uh wait a minute hold on where am i actually gonna put the food area i guess i can have like a countertop over here and yeah this should be great i can have the refrigerator and all the food over here so that if that's maybe ever wants to eat he can just pull up to the refrigerator and grab himself a snack <laughs> Fridges? That's so 100 years ago. Yeah, that is so old. Fridges are not old, guys. They're like, they keep your food cold. It's it's not that old. Dude, I've got automatic food dispensers plus robots that bring food to your table in exactly what you want. Wait, what you do? Okay, okay, well, uh, I'm not gonna lie. That's kind of making my house look like an ancient cave. Okay, uh, I guess we don't need a fridge. Yeah, fridges are, are for old people. In fact, let me get rid of all these countertops as well. Who needs countertops when you can have automatic food dispensers? Okay, let me grab some dispensers and let's see. Can I place them underneath the table? Would that work? 
and just put down the dispenser like that and then put the table on top of it and let me try putting something inside of the dispenser uh, like this modern sliding door and all right here let's test this out is this gonna like dispense the food on the table and oh uh, okay that didn't really work it kind of landed underneath the table forget that idea that's not gonna work here what about instead we have dispensers on the roof yeah okay now this is what i'm talking about this time the food is gonna land on the table every time so let's just have dispensers on top of each one of the tables just like that and then let's go up over here and just connect all of these dispensers up with a little bit of redstone just like that looking good and let's just have it go off the house like this there we go and okay here's what i was thinking inside of the kitchen area we could have like a button right over here yeah we can have a button right here and whenever you hit it it'll activate all the dispensers and give everyone a round of food so uh hold up in that case we should probably move this redstone from over here uh to the other side over there yeah so let's just have this redstone going like this and oh wait, wait wait what we could do to make the button signal go all the way up over here is just use some redstone torches so see we have this redstone torch here and when i hit the button it'll turn it off and what we could do is just have like a stack of redstone torches going all the way up here like that and whenever i hit the button the redstone torch at the top should light up so let me try that out let's just see and yeah check it out look the redstone torch lights up for just a second just enough time to activate all the dispensers and then it turns back off again but anyways now it's time to actually fill up my dispenser so let's see what type of food should i put inside of them i'm putting cosmic meatballs in my kitchen wait what cosmic meatballs what in the world are those whoa what the uh, that is interesting oh you don't know about cosmic meatballs yeah they're a, a delicacy in the galaxy what the heck okay that's a very weird futuristic food okay let me see what other types of futuristic food do we have in whoa uh, guys we literally have every type of futuristic apple what the void apple okay i'm gonna grab some of these void apples and uh, i guess i'll just chuck those inside of this dispenser right over here and all right, all right what about this dispenser let's see what could i do oh wait what about some burgers uh, these could be pretty good burgers that's so last millennia i'm putting sifa guinness meat in mine and, uh, sifa guinness meat what in the world is that it's from a reincarnated dinosaur it's actually kind of cool and what reincarnated dinosaur i don't even know what that means hold on wait what, what, what is that? i want to see this and whoa what? it's literally uh, yellow and orange and purple what the heck yeah it's very delightful and uh okay hold on let's see what other types of futuristic food are there i'm just gonna search out meat and let's see it whoa okay i see this is where you guys found the cosmic meatballs from and wait what the battle burritos uh these things look pretty cool it says it's a powerful fusion of many tasty meats okay well i guess i'll uh, put those inside of this dispenser instead of the burgers all right well here let's see what other types of futuristic meat is there and wait hold on what is this it says cooked a chapa carba meat i don't even know how to pronounce that but it sounds pretty futuristic it's going in the dispenser it's chupacabra hey, chapacubra uh, no it's chapacabra oh, you guys are silly it's chapacabra door no I, I think that's the, the worst one at all where did you hear the d yeah wait there's not even a d in this word but anyways i've only got one dispenser left to fill so let's see what type of cool futuristic food could i put inside of this one i'm just gonna keep scrolling until i find some really cool looking futuristic food come on there's gotta be something good oh wait a minute i think i found something what about the ultimate stew this thing looks pretty wild this it's literally changing colors i don't even know what is inside of that but here let me test out my dispenser system now let me just hit the button and boom check it out look all of the food has gotten dispensed wait what hold on nothing came out of these ones over here wait a second let me try that again and yeah these two dispensers are working but not these ones back here well what's the problem oh wait 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 i see what we need to do okay let me grab some repeaters i may or may not have forgotten to put repeaters here but there we go now that we have a repeater there it should all work so let me just uh, pick up all this food and let me hit the button one more time and let's go check it out look all of the dispensers fired food that is actually awesome all right well anyways now that all the food dispensers are working i guess let me put some glass on the wall just to make this area look nicer and whoa wait ruby i just took a look at what you're building it looks pretty sick so far oh thanks it's just pretty basic i don't know all right well here let me just finish putting down glass on all of my walls because windows uh, they just look super sick and okay i think this should look good for a dining area yeah and here let me also put down a sign over here saying dispense the food yeah there we go now people know what the, the button is for but anyways i've got the kitchen done i've got the hovercraft done and i've also got the fancy door done what do i need to build next for a dash baby from the future well you gotta build him some activities he's gonna get bored oh yeah you're right activities i completely forgot about that well i've kind of got one activity i've got like the uh hovercraft thingy but yeah you're right i need to build more stuff let me see what type of activities would a futuristic baby like and oh wait a minute what about a laser target practice that could be sick because he probably has like a cool laser shooting abilities that sounds cool if he has laser shooting powers yeah yeah did you see that suit he was wearing when he came out of the button over here of course he's got laser shooting powers his suit literally had like wings on it but here i, I guess i can build that uh i'll build it downstairs yeah that could be cool let me grab 
grab some of these ladders and all right here I'm just gonna start digging out a little basement area to my house This is gonna be sick Let me just select this position and this position and set it to zero and here now Let me just select this position and this position over here and let me run the command slash slash stack There we go now we can have like a big empty room In fact, I think we should make this room a little bit bigger Let me slash slash stack it even farther There we go and here let me also make the room a little bit taller because this feels a little bit short right now Let me set that to air boom there we go all right now this is what I'm talking about let's go but here we also can't have dirt walls over here so let's also set all of the walls into some nice looking purple concrete this should look a lot nicer just this one floor left and boom there we go now all of the blocks in this room are made out of purple car oh wait except for these ones there we go now it's all made out of purple concrete now let me just put down all of these ladders over here just like this there we go that is looking pretty sick and all right now it's time to build the laser shooting uh, target practice course it's gonna be awesome all right here let me grab some fences and here let me just put down these fences going like this over here and here now it's time to build the targets down over here and here for the targets i have a really cool idea instead of just building some normal targets that are just gonna be like standing still on the walls no i gotta make this a little bit harder for baby dash instead what i'm gonna do is grab some sticky pistons and some slime blocks and i'm gonna make some sick moving targets it's gonna be awesome i'm just gonna have some slime blocks and pistons across the entire floor just like this there we go we can have one more over here yeah we'll have three targets in total or actually we should have one that's like a little bit closer here and another one that's a little bit closer over here yeah there we go and here for the targets pretty much what i was thinking is i can use boats for the targets just like that and underneath the floor i can have redstone activating all of the pistons to make it so that the boats go up in the air and fly wait oh, okay hold on i just forgot that the, the slime blocks are gonna pick up the, the blocks next to it i need to replace all those blocks with some obsidian blocks and all right here let's try this again and boom check it out see that the boat kind of went up in the air a little bit hold on it barely went up in the air i i, I thought it was gonna go up higher okay hold on wait i have an idea why don't instead of using a boat we try using a mine cart so let me grab a mine cart really quick and also some rails and all right here let me set up a mine cart over here and all right let's test this out hopefully this goes further up so let's try and yes okay there we go that went a lot higher up that's a lot better than the boat i think so here let's just repeat that with all of the slime block pistons inside of this room just like this there we go hold on i need to fix that one there we go and all right now all we need to do is just connect everything with some redstone so here's what i was thinking first let's uh, expose all of the pistons so that we can actually have access to them so just like that there we go and all right now what i need to do is grab some more repeaters and redstone and here what we're gonna do is just connect every single one of these pistons with some redstone and repeaters so let's try this out and i'm pretty sure if i power this over here it should power both of these and wait what yeah why doesn't it power it uh oh wait hold on i think i know what the problem is hold on hold on hold on let's try digging this one block deeper like this and then putting the repeaters over here like that there we go and i think this should work let me try powering that and yeah yeah there we go now it works it has to go like through a normal block it can't go through a piston okay well in that case here let's dig out this entire area one block deeper and let's put down a normal block beneath all of the pistons so that the, the redstone can go through it dash 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 i need a hyperdrive do you have one i need a spare one. Oh, uh, what you need a what a hyperdrive for my ship do you have one i need a spare hyperdrive wait wait, wait what a hyperdrive what is that I, I i can offer you some uh pistons if you need well i don't need pistons that's so last uh, millennia and oh wait it's just deep in my pockets never mind i don't need a hyperdrive anymore hey, uh, what the uh okay uh you have fun with that what have you been doing on your ship i think you need to put an s on the end of that wait wait, wait what ships uh hold on let me see this what are you doing and whoa what in the world wait you have four ships now check it out i call it the cam fleet Oh my gosh, that is awesome. But I have a question for you. Do any of them actually fly? Hello? And, uh, Dash, where did you go? Are you, are you just ignoring me when I ask you that question? Uh, Dash, where did you go? I think he's getting salty because his ships can't fly. And yeah, I, I, I think you should make your ships fly. That would make them a lot cooler. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. They are flying right now. But all right, well, anyways, here, let me just finish up putting all of these redstone repeaters over here like that. And Okay, nice. I think this should work. All I have to do now is just activate it like that and check it out. Oh, wait, I forgot to put a redstone here. Hold on. I was about to be super excited for that, but that didn't work. Let me try one more time. Let's go. And there we go. Now check it out. Look, all of the pistons are like going up in a nice timed manner. This is looking great. Uh, let me just uh, cover all of this up again. Let's just put down all of this purple concrete over here like this. There we go. And all right, perfect. Now we've got the base of our laser target practice area done. All we have to do now is just actually put down all of the targets, which are going to be these mine carts over here. So let's just put down a mine cart over there. That is looking awesome. And now we just have to do that for every single one of these targets. And boom, there we go. Now all of the targets are in 
end place. So pretty much what uh, Baby Dash is going to have to do, he's going to have to stand behind this fence and shoot all of the targets with his uh, laser blaster power that he hopefully has. But yeah, I think the target practice room is complete. But wait a minute. I have a banger idea for what I can build for my next activity. I'm going to build a futuristic parkour room and I'm going to build that right over here and here. Now, let me just put down some doors over here. And all right, this area is going to be all for parkour. So uh, I got to clear out a big area since there's going to be like the parkour room. So uh, let me select this position and this position and set it to zero. And now let's just slash slash stack it uh, the 100. Yeah, we need this area to be big because it's going to be, you know, like the parkour area. And here now let's just select that position and also this position over here in this corner like this. And now let me slash slash stack this way. So slash slash stack two and then also this way. And all right, perfect. I think this should be uh, big enough for the parkour area. Actually, I think we can go a little bit taller. Let's just select this position and then over here in the corner. Let's go up a little bit and select that position and let's set this to zero like that. And oh, oh I, I think that was a little bit too high. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me undo that. And uh, let me just go a little bit lower down and select that position. And there we go. Now we're right below the grass layer. Okay. We cannot go a single block up, but I think this should be big enough. All we got to do now is select all of the walls and set it all to some purple concrete. So let me do that right now. Let's set this wall over here and let's do slash slash wall concrete. Boom. There we go. Oh, there, hold on. That's the wrong type of concrete. There we go. Now it's purple. And oh, wait, hold on. That kind of got rid of my door. Let me uh, fix that. There we go. And here now we just got to set up the floor as well. So let me do that. Let me set this to zero and slash slash stack this uh, 50. Yeah, we need to, to go deep and Oh, uh, that may have been a little bit too deep. Oh, okay, okay. Maybe we should slash slash undo that. Let's try going slash slash stack up 30. Yeah, that's deep enough. And oh, wait, hold on. We also have to set these walls into some concrete. So let's do that as well. Slash slash wall concrete. Boom, there we go. And now since we don't want Dash Baby to get hurt if he hits the bottom of the parkour, what we need to do is set this entire floor area into some slime blocks just like that. There we go. So if he hits the floor, he'll just uh, bounce up and it'll be all good. And here we can also add a ladder over here at the start so that if he does fall off, he can just restart super easily. So just like that, boom, there we go. And all right, now it's time to finally start building the actual parkour. So uh, let's see, for the first part of the parkour, I guess we can just have like some normal parkour jumps, you know, just like that. And yeah, yeah, we can just like have a few normal jumps. In fact, let's make them out of a different color concrete. Let's use uh, red. Yeah, yeah, red could look cool. This way, the jumps will stand out from the walls a little bit better. But anyways, now let's just have a few more of these normal jumps. And pretty much what I was thinking is we can make the parkour get harder and harder the farther along we go. So let's just have, another jump there. There we go. That second jump's good. Let's just have one more normal jump over here and then we can get on with the crazy stuff. So there we go. And all right, I think that's enough normal jumps. Now it's time to step it up a notch. And since this is supposed to be futuristic parkour, I already have a banger idea. Here's what I was thinking. Let me just go down all the way over here. And what I need to do is grab a fan. And let me also grab a redstone lever so I can power it. And here now, let me just power up this fan really quick. And all right, here's what I was thinking. Let me grab a boat and put that right on top of the fan just like that and check it out. We got some boat parkour. Pretty much what Baby Dash is going to have to do is hop into the boat like that. And then uh, the one I'm going to have after the boat is another boat on the other side. Hold on. I need to turn this boat around. There we go. And yeah, pretty much I'm just going to have another boat over here on that side. And he's just going to have to keep bouncing between the boats. It's going to be super sick. So here, let me just go a little bit this way and put down another fan right over here. And let me power this one with another lever. And here, let me put down another boat. And all right, let's see. Is this parkour even possible or is this too hard? Let me just hop into this boat over here and then hop into this one and Oh, there we go. I made it. Let's go. All right. And now all I need to do is just build a lot more of these uh, flying fan boat jump thingies. So let me just put down a fan over there. And here, let me like plan out all the jumps before I actually put down the boats on them. So we can have one there as well. We can have another one over here. And let's have one more over here. This should be good for this bit. And then after the fan parkour, we can have another crazier type of futuristic parkour. But here, let's just activate all of these with some levers. Boom. And now let's just put down all of our boats just like that looking good. Check it out. And all right, I think it should be done now. Well, these boats are still like trying to equalize or they're still like flying around. All right. All right. Well, here, before we can call it done, we have to try this out. So let me hop inside of this boat over here and then that one. And then, okay, I got to aim for this one. There we go. And then this one over here. Let's go. And then this one. And now only one left. Let's go. And oh, wait, hold on. All right, all right. this one's kind of hard to reach. Actually, is this one even possible? I think I might have to hop out of the boat for this. Let me just hop out and no, I missed. Okay. Hold on. Let me try that again. Okay. Hold on. Let me try this one more time. 
down. It's actually a bit harder than I thought. Let me just hop out of the boat and oh, there we go. I made it. That actually wasn't too bad. All right. Well, anyways, now that we got the boat area done, it's time to build the next part of our parkour. So here we can just have like a platform over here for people to land on. So we'll just have like a small, normal looking platform over here like that. And here for the next part of the parkour, I was thinking we could do a trip wire hook using some iron bars because, you know, iron bars are like super narrow. So it's going to be like super hard to like actually go on them. But that's not going to be it because that's not futuristic enough. What I'm going to do to fix that is grab some of these laser blocks and just place them over here like this. There we go. And now if I just break these like that, check it out. We have a laser and the baby dash is going to have to like jump over this and try to dodge it. Oh, wait, I should probably put a block on top of these lasers as well so that he can't just like jump on the lasers and cheat. But here, let's just put down all of the iron bars first before we put down the lasers. So let's just have them going in like a nice hoisty pattern like this. We need to have this one go this way and then let's have it turn this way a little bit. There we go. And okay, I think we can have it end over here. Yeah, this should be long enough. Now it's time to put down all of the lasers. So here we can put down the next one right over here like this. There we go. That is looking sick. And here, let's have another one over here going like this. There we go. That looks pretty good. And I got to make sure to put these blocks on top of them. Let's have another one right over here looking good. And of course, we got to have some on this side as well. All right. All right. This is looking pretty sick. And here, I'm just going to keep putting a bunch of these around the entire uh, iron bar parkour area to make it super challenging. Wait, you're making your baby do laser parkour? And uh, yeah, I mean, he's got to learn uh, the parkour somehow. Plus, it's going to be like a fun activity. Laser parkour? Isn't that a little bit much? And uh, no, 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 it's not much at all. You know, I'm pretty sure people in the future have like really OP armor and stuff. So the lasers probably aren't even going to do anything to him if he hits them. It's just going to be a fun little challenge. Um, I don't know about that. No, trust me, it's going to be all good. But here, I'm testing it out right now. And let's go. This is actually pretty epic. Here we go. Let's go. I made it to the end. That's actually awesome. All right. But anyways, I'm running out of ideas for the crazy futuristic parkour stuff I could build. So uh, let's see. I've already got the normal jumps and the flying boat thingy and the lasers. Uh, what other futuristic parkour things are there? Oh, wait. Why don't you do something with your hovercraft? Wait, that actually gives you a really cool idea. What if I build a moving jumps? Yeah, but you got that idea from me. So you better give me credit. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I, I definitely will. But anyways, what I need to do is uh, have the walls be made out of obsidian, first of all, because I'm going to build some more of those uh, hover the craft thingies that I built up there, except I'm going to build them down here and they're just going to be like a bunch of them going side by side. And baby dash is going to have to jump from one to the other and all the way to the very end. It's going to be sick. So here, let me just build another one of those hovercraft thingies. All I got to do is just have my slime blocks going like this. And then I got to have, uh, wait, I think my sticky piston over here. And then I have to have another sticky piston here. And I got to have the observer over here like that. Yeah, that looks good. And then another observer over here. And yeah, yeah, there we go. That looks good. And hey, oh, oh, wait, hold on. I, I got to make it stop for now. I can't have it going too fast. Here, let me set all of the walls to obsidian so that the slime blocks don't stick to it. And all right, I think this should work now. It should uh, be like infinitely looping between the two walls now. So let's uh, let's try this out. Let's see. Is it going to work? And uh, yeah, OK, there we go. Now it's moving. Come on, please bounce back this way when it hits the wall. And oh, it, it did not bounce that way. OK, wait, actually, I think I know what we need to do. All we have to do to fix this, I'm pretty sure, is just put down another observer over here like that. And hold on, hold on. Wait, let's do the same over here on this side of the wall. Quick, come on, come on. And oh, wait, we have to do it on this side. And is that working? And uh, no, that is not working. OK, wait, wait, wait. Actually, I do have another idea for what we could do. Let me put down a slime block piston over here. And then I'm pretty sure if I just have two observers behind it, powering it so that it like turns on and off like that, I think this should uh, constantly make the slime block machine like want to go forward. So let me try this out. Will this work? Let me just activate this flying machine to go over here. And all right, let's see. Is this going to work? Please work. Come on. As soon as it hits that wall, it should bounce back this way. So come on, come on. Here we go. And uh, no, it didn't work. OK, wait, what's the problem here? Is it going too fast, maybe? OK, wait, 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 hold on, hold on. I have an idea. Maybe what I need to do is slow it down a little bit. So let me grab some of these repeaters and just have these repeaters going like this and then connect them with some redstone. And check this out. Now we have an infinitely looping redstone circle. So let's just connect that up to the piston over here. And let me break this obsidian here. And all right, let's see, is this going to work? And yes, there we go. That works. All right, hold on, hold on. We need to try this one more time. Let me just send the machine over that way. And all right, as soon as it hits that wall, it should bounce back. So here, come on, please work. And yes, there we go. Did you see that? It, it took a second, but it, it bounced back. Okay, okay, that is actually awesome. Here, now we just got to do the exact same thing over here on this side. So let's just build the exact same thing. I'm just going to build it a little bit smaller this time since I know what I'm actually doing. So let's just have these repeaters going like this and then some more repeaters going the same way this way. And then let's just activate this all up. There we go. And okay, this should be working. Let's uh, break this block over here. And, and all right, here we go. Now what it should be doing is just constantly bouncing back and forth between the walls. And I'm going to have like several of these machines spread out throughout this area. And Dash Baby is going to have to 
jump from each one to get to the very end. It's going to be so sick. So here, I guess all I have to do now is just go over here in this corner of the build and select this. And let me select this corner right over here. And then all I have to do to duplicate this is just run the command slash slash stack uh, five. And there we go. Check it out. Now we've got five of these machines. And pretty much what Dash Baby is going to have to do is jump across all of them like this. But wait, hold on. They're all kind of going like the same way right now. This is going to make it way too easy. Instead of having them all go the same way, let me just, uh, you know, delay some of them a little bit just like this and then they're all gonna be going like uh, kind of randomly so let me just start them up again so here we go that one can start going now this one now this one and now this one and this one and all right check it out now they're all kind of going differently so pretty much dash baby is gonna have to jump from one to the next one and it's gonna be super epic check it out there's the ultimate moving parkour right over here here let me just cover up all the holes in the wall over here just like that and all right there we go i think the moving parkour area is complete now i just gotta build a little landing platform over here for dash baby to actually land on it oh hold on. let me break these the, the machine kind of stole my blocks there and here this is gonna be the landing area for once dash baby's done with the moving parkour and i guess for the rest of the parkour we can just have like a bunch of uh, normal one block jumps that are gonna be like super long yeah there we go that looks good oh i can't even make that okay maybe we should move it one block and there we go we have three block jumps over here and we can just have these going all the way to the end of the parkour which is gonna be right over over here let's go here i'm gonna make a little finish line over here so that people know that it is the end and there we go just like that i think my parkour room should be complete uh, wait no it's not the roof is literally still made out of dirt how did i not see that earlier hold on a minute let me just select this part of the roof over here and also let me go in this corner and here let me just set this roof into some concrete and yeah i guess we can use white concrete that looks pretty good all right but anyways now over here at the end of the parkour i'll just build like a little hallway so that you can get back to the start so let me just do that now we'll just have these blocks here like this there we go and here we can just have a little hallway going across the entire parkour area to get back to the start and all right i think i should almost be at the start of the parkour now how far did i make this thing go oh right i made it 100 blocks far at Come on, how far am I? Oh, wait, actually, I'm almost at the end. Let's just keep breaking through. Come on, and... Oh, I broke into this room. Uh, it's fine, I, I can make it work. Dash, did you mean to put all this concrete above here? And Wait, 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 what, what are you talking about? What concrete? Uh, there's concrete on the surface. And Wait, 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 no, no, no. Wait, did my concrete go above the grass? And, oh, wait a minute. Okay, I did not mean to do this. Wow, that's pretty bad building, if I do say so myself. And, no, 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 it's not bad building. I'm actually a really good builder here. All I need to do is just... Uh, select this and set it to some grass slash slash set grass boom there we go and here what i can do is just lower my floor over here by one block no problem oh my goodness there's so much stuff and oh yeah kim what do you think of my parkour room it's pretty sick i know right i think this is meant for a kid right uh, so it, i think it's a little bit much what are you talking about why does everyone keep saying that no it's perfectly fine you know kids in the future have like a cool parkour abilities probably so it's gonna be epic uh, okay i guess we'll see whenever we do the tours so here let me just set all of these walls and the roof into some nice looking purple concrete just like this there we go and here let me grab some stairs and okay wait how am i gonna do this i don't really want to have the exit of this hallway go straight to the target practice area that's a little bit sketchy uh, I guess what I could do is just build like a small little designated hallway passageway uh, just like that. And yeah, hopefully uh, no one gets uh, hit by lasers when they're going through here. Yeah. And oh wait, actually, I've also got one other idea for what we can do in this hallway. Let me just set all of these walls over here into some glass. Boom. And now check it out. We can see all of the parkour and this looks awesome. All right. Well, anyways, here now that I've got the parkour activity room complete. Hmm. What else do I need to build for my futuristic kid? Well, I'm building my bedroom right now. And wait. A bedroom. Oh, right. That's the one thing I forgot to build. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. I need to build a bedroom. That's like the most important part of the house. What, dude? You don't even have a bedroom for your kid? How could you forget that? No, no, no. Guys, guys, don't worry. I'm building it right now. All I got to do is just uh, set my roof to some concrete. There we go. And here, I'm going to build my bedroom on the second floor of the house. Yeah. That's pretty bad parenting, Dash. I'm not going to lie. And no, 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 no. Guys, I'm a great parent, okay? I would never forget to build my kid's bedroom here. Let me just uh, make this inside look a little bit nicer, real quick. So let me put that glass there. There we go. And ooh, this looks sick. But, anyways, now it's time to build the bedroom right here what i could do is grab some more of these stairs and i'm just gonna have a staircase over here going all the way to my upstairs area and i'm gonna have the bedrooms be upstairs so 
just like this. There we go. And oh, wait here. I also have to make like a little guardrail over here to make sure that no one falls off the stairs. There we go. Looking nice. All right. All right. Now it's time for the bedroom. So here, I guess what I could do is just uh, set the walls for this entire upstairs area first. So let me go over here and do slash slash walls concrete. Boom. There we go. And all right. Well, I got to build my bedroom here and then dash baby's bedroom. So what I could do is split up this area into two rooms. I guess I can just build a big wall over here like that. There we go. And then I can split up this wall into two rooms. So we can have uh, this divider in the middle right over here like that. And there we go. Check it out. I can have my room over here and then I can have dash baby's room right over here. This should look sick. And here while I'm at it, let me also go and set up the roof. So I'm just going to set the roof into some glass. There we go. What the heck? Uh, Cam, is that your build? What in the world is that? Uh, this is just our planet. What are you talking about? What the heck? You built like a whole planet? Yeah, of course I did. What in the world? This looks crazy. Okay, okay. Well, I gotta get back to building my area. Does your planet have a bedroom? Uh, not on the planet. Oh, wait, you don't? Oh, easy. All right, that means I'm winning this here. Let me just put down all of the doors for my bedrooms. There we go, just like that. And now I gotta actually put down the beds. So let me grab some purple beds. And uh, here, I'll build Dash Baby's bedroom first. I'll just have the beds right over here like that. And then let me put down some of these slabs over here on the sides just to make it look a little bit nicer. And ooh, let me also grab some of these bedside cabinets and we can just put those on each side like is that. And ooh, wait, wait, what else we also need is a big window because, you know, natural light is uh, very important. So let's just set this wall into some glass panes. Boom, that is looking pretty nice. And uh, the wait, guys, what else do we need in a bedroom? Maybe a TV. And ooh, yeah, yeah, okay, that's a good idea. Let me grab a TV really quick and we can have like a little TV area right over here. That looks pretty sick. Wait, okay. Like that, that TV looks a little bit small. I'm not gonna lie. This kind of looks more like a just a monitor. And ooh, wait, that gives me an idea. I could build a desk. What would your kid use a desk for? I don't know, but since he's from the future, uh, you know, the computers are probably gonna be very important. And you know, he's gonna need to know how to use one and all that. Oh wait, true. That does make sense. And yeah, yeah, it's gonna be very important. But anyways, there we go. That's the desk. And uh, okay, I think that's this bedroom done. Now I gotta build my bedroom on the other side. So let me just uh, grab everything from this room. I'm pretty much just gonna copy most of the stuff. And wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, I actually have one more idea for what I need to build in here. I need to build a bookshelf because reading is also very important. So let me just uh, put down uh, a bookshelf over here like this. There we go. And uh, yeah, okay. Now I think the bedroom is done. Now let me just copy that exact same thing over here on this side. And in fact, instead of copying it by hand, let me just select this position over here and also this position. And then let me run the command slash slash copy. And you know the drill. Let me pull up over here and slash slash paste it in. Boom. There we go. An exact duplicate of the room. Although uh, it doesn't have the window yet. Let me set that up. There we go. Slash slash set glass panes. Boom. There we go. And all right, now we have two identical rooms. This is awesome. Let me put down a sign next to each one saying dash room over there. And then this room over here can be dash baby's room. Excellent. But anyways, now that I've got my bedrooms done, let's see, is there anything else I need to build? I need to have like a checklist for everything that a house needs. I've got the activities with the hovercraft and like the parkour and everything. I've got the kitchen and I've got the bedrooms. <gasps> Wait, I need to build the washroom. Right. That's the most important part of the house. So what's the point of a house if there's no washroom? Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess I can just build that right over here like this. Oh, wait, the washroom. I forgot about that. Oh, yeah, guys, we cannot forget about the washroom. That's like the most important part. Uh, washroom? I, I can see why that's important, but uh, we just pee in space. And what the? You guys just like pee out into like space? Yeah, it's the same as what airplanes do when you flush the toilet. And wait, that's what airplanes do? It drops it off the plane? Yeah, I actually had poop land on my house before because of an airplane. No way. Well, there was no poop there the day before, and then I look up there the next day and there was poop. Uh, that's kind of weird. Are you sure? It was from a plane, though? Uh, because I'm pretty sure one flew over my house or something. Uh, okay. But anyways, I think my washroom is done now. I've got the toilet. I've got the bathtub. I've got uh, pretty much everything you need in a washroom. And yeah, I think my house is done. Uh, yeah, my space fleet is uh, finished. Um, I think mine is done, too. And let's go. All right. Well, anyways, in that case, uh, everyone, let's meet up in the middle. It's time to spawn in our babies and see what they think of our build. Well, guys, can we check out my house first? And ooh, yeah, I'm actually curious to see what you have on the inside. Your house does look pretty cool. Thanks. Yeah, let's go check it out. Okay, I'm gonna go summon my baby then. All right, here we go. And oh, look, there she is. Hi, Mom. Oh, hi, baby Ruby. Where's my house? Is it that one? I want to go. I want to go. Um, I think she's a little bit excited. So let's go over here. Whoa, yeah, I can get why she's excited. This house looks sick. Wait, what, where do we start? I don't know where to start. It looks so complicated. It's not that complicated. We'll just go from the bottom. We'll go up. So over here. Um, this is the kitchen. Wait, is this all the food we have over here? Yeah, so we've got some brownies and meatballs and some salad and a weird drink. I thought that would be fun to try. And whoa, what the heck 
is that? I'm not really sure, but you can push the button and get it. What, you have to press the buttons manually? I've got automatic food dispensers. <laughs> yeah, same. Um, it's good for her to push buttons. It's fun. Um, I actually don't really like the buttons, but I'm just gonna try this drink right now. Oh, wait, it looks like she's trying to drink. Wait, did it taste good? How, what did it taste like? It tastes bad. Why is it spicy? Wait, uh, the ruby, uh, what was in that potion? I don't know. It was just like strawberry milk or something, I thought. What is it called? Um, let's see. Uh, it's dragon's breath. And what the ruby? That is not a strawberry milkshake. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Uh, hold on. I, I think your baby needs some milk. Uh, here, take this. And, oh, okay. I, I, I think they're good now. <sighs> <laughs> oh, I want to go to the next room. And okay, yeah, let's just check out the next room. Whoa, okay, I, I, I don't think that alien food is uh, is good for us. Um, maybe she'll like the meatballs later. But we have some fans. Whoa! And whoa, but you use fans as an elevator? <gasps> this is sick. And wait, hold on. Why is there a toilet here? Um, I thought that if I just put a lot of toilets everywhere, then she'll be able to find it. But this next room. Oh, I forgot to make stairs. Um, just step up like this. Um, this is a room for you to, to touch grass. This is also like one of your bedrooms. You have like two. Why would I want to touch grass? And wait, yeah, why do you have a grass touching room? And what, what is it with the toilets everywhere? Um, when nature calls. <gasps> Yo, check it out, another toilet. Ew. What? Oh my. Cam is farting. Cam is farting. <laughs> Cam, I don't think that toilet was meant for you. I think she's entertained by it, but uh, what did you eat? That alien food goes hard, bro. I want some of what he has. Okay, okay. Let's just move on to the next room. It's starting to smell bad in here. Uh, yeah, do we just go off this fan and... Wait, is there another toilet around here? No, oh, I was expecting a toilet over here. I'm not going to lie. Oh, you're right. Um, Let's put some toilets right here. Oh, oh my gosh. Why did I remind you? All right. Well, anyways, what's in the next room over here? Well, we have an arcade room. It's one of the gaming rooms. Oh, uh, I guess so. Why do these computers look so old? Yeah, wait, yeah, she's not wrong. They do look kind of old. They're vintage. That doesn't mean they're good. I, I, I wouldn't want a vintage computer to game on. Why is it so old in here? It's like ancient. Oh, wait. I, I think she's getting mad. Oh, oh gosh. Stop, I don't think she really likes old stuff. And oh, wait. You saved that with the water just on time. Um, yeah, but now all the arcade machines are broken. And, oh, well, it's fine. At least the house isn't broken. Let's just uh, get rid of this TNT and uh, clear out this water over here. But anyways, uh, what's the next floor? Um, well, all oh, these fans don't work anymore. Let's just, uh, uh, um, let me, let me see if I can fix them. And yeah, I think you're gonna have to replace those ones. Um, I don't have any extra fans, so I'm just gonna put down a ladder. And okay, I, I guess a ladder works, and uh, what the? Wait, what's going on up there? I found the next toilet. Ew, stinky cam. All right, well, anyways, whoa, what is this next area? <gasps> Are these lucky blocks? Yeah, I made a lucky block room. Ooh, I hope these blow up the floor. And, whoa, 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 what? what? You, you hope they blow up the floor? Uh, that, that would actually be very bad. Whoa, we got mushroom soup. That's not bad. Ew, mushroom soup. This is gross. I'm gonna open up these other lucky blocks. And I, right, I, right, well, here, I guess let's see what you get. And whoa, wait, did you just get a lucky block temple? You got four more lucky blocks. Yay, I'm the luckiest. Here, I'm gonna open another one. And uh, wait, 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 what is that? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, you got TNT. Run, run, run. Baby Ruby, are you okay? I hate this room. I don't wanna be here anymore. I'm going to the next one. And okay, yeah, I don't think she likes the lucky blocks very much. That was uh, kind of unlucky, but all right, I guess let's check out the next room. And whoa, wait, what? What is this? Oh, this was supposed to be the party room. I mean, it's not like anyone will be invited. Um, Baby Ruby's kind of a loner. But we have VR right here. Oh, VR? Um, okay. Where's the helmet? Um, the helmets are in the TV stand right here. So just take this and put it on. Hey, you stole my helmet! And, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh, there you go. There you go. And, uh, whoa, okay. This VR area looks pretty cool. Yeah, and then we have, like, a stage and some couch. Hey, get off of the couch thing! Woo-hoo! Oh, what the? You have a couch I'm with wheels? And whoa! <laughs> Cam took my car. <laughs> Cam, get back here. <laughs> and I can't wait. I think you're making baby Ruby upset. Oh, fine, I'll bring it back. You better put that down here right now. And, whoa, 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 Oh my gosh, I can't, I think you should put it down, put it down. It's all right, take it, take it, take it. Okay, I think we're good now. Yay, 
coming, they go so far now. Baby Ruby, come back. Baby Ruby! Uh, I can't control her. Uh, is there any more to this tour? Yeah, there was an electric thing at the top, but I don't know if I can get her back up here. Oh, you should tell her that there's treats up here. There wasn't that much anyways. I guess this is just how you get down, so... And, oh, oh, I see. Well, here, let me grab one of these elytras really quick. And, all right, I'm flying down. Let's go! And, all right, that was pretty cool, but... Yeah, that was actually a pretty cool build, but... Wait, where did Baby Ruby even go? I'm in the couch. I'm in the couch. Oh, look. Target practice. And, uh, uh, wait, what does that mean? And, whoa, 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 what the hell? She's shooting the RPG at me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Let me quick hit the button despawner. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, my gosh. What in the world? And, phew, I think she's gone. Uh, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, well, I guess we can move on to my tour. And, yeah, let's just move on to the next house. Well, anyways, Kim, I got to spawn in your kid whenever you're ready. Wait, wait, wait. Before we actually press the button, you all need to hop in this pressure and, plate. Uh, wait, why? It's your astronaut armor put it on and, okay okay i'm hopping in and whoa wait i have glass on my head now oh oh i'm guessing there's like the space suit i need this to like breathe up there or something yep up uh, ruby you're next uh, okay right here yep and then you also need some of this here you go guys and whoa okay okay this armor looks pretty crazy let me put all this on and whoa this looks sick all right well now that we're all prepared uh, it's time to spawn in my child all right all right here we go let's see what is your kid gonna look like all right well let me go ahead and spawn it in, in three two one come here child and yo daddy what up and, whoa what the why does he sound like that uh, what are you talking about i don't sound like anything i sound normal. i think i think you have a deeper voice than your dad uh, i can baby oh he's so cute uh, no i don't we sound exactly the same uh, anyway uh, are you guys ready to go explore your new house uh, yeah daddy i'm ready let's go let's check it out i'm excited do we go on the yellow one first yeah the yellow one is where we begin and right here is the airlock to get inside oh daddy this looks awesome i can't wait and, okay i'm never gonna get over how deep this kid's voice is but whoa this area looks sick. Whoa, what the? What is this? Is this the, the eating area? Yep, this is the dinner area. Uh, oh, daddy, uh, can I please get some of the popcorn? Sure, just grab the tablet and, uh, you know, uh, place the order. All right, awesome. I'm placing the order right now. And, wait, do you have like a private chef or something? Where does the food come from? Oh, right here, back here. This is the food spawning area. And, whoa, what the? Neutron collector? What the heck is this? Yeah, we produce the food starting with the neutrons, then moving on to protons, and then we add some electrons, and boom. Wow, that must taste good. What the heck? Okay, that sounds interesting. Oh, and there we go. Uh, I just got delivered the order of the popcorn. Uh, here you go, Cam, baby. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Daddy, for the popcorn. And, oh, wait. He just got the popcorn. Wait, how does it taste? It's just like normal popcorn, but better because it came straight from the source. Whoa, okay. Well, anyways, what else do we have? Wait, the downstairs area? Oh, yeah. I love bouncing on the bed. Um, he's short enough to do that, I guess. Yeah, wait. I don't think fully grown people can fit in here. No, we can. We just gotta sleep very tight. I think the coolest part is the sliding door. And, whoa, wait. Yeah, I've got one of these sliding doors as well. They're pretty sick. Oh, yeah. Sometimes I like to lick the window. What? What the heck? Okay, this is a pretty weird kid, but anyways, uh, what else do you have? I want to see what you have inside of those big planets up there. Oh, all right, we can head over now. Uh, first, let's go to the shopping center. And whoa, all right, all right, well, where do we start? Uh, th is there an entrance? And wait, what, we just have to break in? Yeah, they automatically replace after a bit. And uh, no, we're not supposed to be here, but uh, I guess we can slide in. And uh, okay, and whoa, what is this? 15 glorps for one compressed start. What is a glorp? Oh, the glorps is the money system. That's what we use instead of dollars here. Wait. How do I get a glorp? Oh, uh, well, here, I already got you guys some, uh, here, you can buy whatever you what want. What the Ew. heck is that? This is a glorp? Oh, thank you, daddy. I love glorps. Uh, I'm not sure if I really like the, the money here. I, I don't really want, want to buy anything, but wait, hold on. What do you have up this ladder over here? Do you have, like, multiple floors and, whoa, what, 19 glorps for a sword? Okay, uh, that sword is pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. It might be worth the 19 glorps. I don't want to hold the glorps. They look gross. What are you talking about? Glorps are amazing. And, oh, okay, okay. Uh, he's got a sword now. Are you sure he can be trusted? with that? Oh, yeah, I'm chill. Don't worry about it. Just remember the motto. If you're not glorping, you're florping. Uh, what in the world does that even mean? Uh, you know, if you're not glorping, you're florping. Um, kids are weird. Yeah, especially this one. But uh, here, let's check out the next floor. What do we got up here? And wait, what the? 8,000 glorp star members don't... Wait, 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 what? It just opened up. Hey, let me in. Oh, yeah, it only opens up for me. I, you guys can't be let in. Uh, you're not members. What about your son? Yeah, uh, uh, fine, I guess. Just come in. Hey, let's go. And, whoa, what is this? Wait, is, is this it's just like a private lounge area? Shh. 
And uh, wait, what are, what are you watching here? There's nothing there. And, yeah, wait, uh, is the TV on? Uh, there's, there's literally nothing here. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, Daddy, I love this cartoon. It's so amazing. Uh, dude, there's nothing on the screen. What are you talking about? Uh, dude, what are you talking about? It's the Imagination Network. The Imagination Network? What? Okay, that, that's kind of a weird TV show, but the, wait, what else do you have in your planet? Uh, well, uh, we could go over to the training room if we need to. And, oh, wait, training room? All right, yeah, yeah, let's check it out. Where is it? Oh, uh, we first have to go down here. Oh, all right, let's head down and, whoa, okay, this area is new and whoa wait is this the armor that you gave us earlier yeah the, you could buy a full set for uh 32 glorps it's kind of expensive but it's very much worth whoa. it I don't need no glorps. I got my future armor on. And, oh, yeah. He's got his, like, futuristic armor. But wait, where is the fighting room? Oh, it's just this way. Wait, you have to break the... Okay. And, yeah, this is kind of weird. You just have to break through the, the blocks. Okay, but anyways, uh, is this it right here? And whoa. Yeah, here it is. And uh, you guys might want to be a little bit careful because there there are very strong mobs here. This is the future. Oh, how strong could they be? Oh, uh, very strong. You know that uh, Ender Dragon thing, uh, whatever, uh, like 300 years ago? They're, like, 400 times that. What? Bring it on, daddy. All right, well, here we go. I'm going to flick the lever. Eight, three, two, one. Here we go! And, wait, what, ah! the, what in the world is this? Oh, are those aliens? Oh, yeah, Daddy, I love training against aliens. And, oh, oh, he just one shot at all of them. Oh, well, I, I could have done that as well. That, that's no problem. That wasn't that impressive. And, oh, 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 wait, what the? Ah, oh, he's running so many! Oh, well, why don't you give it a try? Ah! Oh, my gosh. Oh, uh, I just got like two shot in. What in the world? Hey, yo, who sent me to survival there? Uh, that was me. You were talking a lot of smack, bro. And, oh, my gosh. I could have taken them out if I was, you know, more prepared and I actually knew. But, anyways, was that your entire build? Because that was was actually pretty cool. Uh, yep, that's my entire build. All right, all right. Well, that was pretty cool. But anyways, are you guys ready to actually see what the best futuristic house is going to look like? Because you are staring at it right now. You guys ready to check out the inside? Actually, no. Uh, I am very sleepy and I'm going for my nappy wappy. You guys have a good day. Oh, uh, he's going to take a nap, I guess. Oh, there he goes. All right, all right. Well, anyways, here, I guess it's my turn to spawn in my kid now. So here we go. Hello, Dash Baby. Yo, what's up, Dad? <gasps> Wait, is this our house? And yes, Dash Baby, check it out. What do you think this this is our new house, and to get in, all you have to do is flick this lever. Oh, wait, okay, okay, I'm gonna flick it. Here we go. Whoa, all right, this inside looks pretty cool. And yeah, yeah, Dash Baby, what do you think? The inside looks sick, doesn't it? Whoa, yeah, okay, this looks cool, but wait, where's my hovercraft? And oh, wait, your hovercraft. Oh, well, don't even worry. I actually did manage to get you a hovercraft if you follow me right over here. Here it is. What do you think? And, whoa, wait, you actually built a hovercraft? I wasn't expecting you to build one. Uh, okay, well, these things look a lot worse than what we have in the future. And okay, Okay, well, I tried my best, okay? I, I I don't know what you guys have in the future, but yeah, what do you think? You can hop inside of the seats, and then you can get going. Ooh, all right, all right. Well, here, I'm hopping in this front one. Uh, I guess I'll tag along. Oh, should I too? And yeah, yeah, here, everyone hop in, and I'll start it whenever you guys are ready. Ready! All right, well, I'm ready. All right, Dad, I'm ready as well. Hit it. All right, all right. Well, if you say so, here, I'm about to start it. Here we go. Let's go. And whoa, that is all. Oh, wait, what the? Hey, we got knocked off. Yeah, just threw us out. Uh, Dad, what the heck was that? He just knocked me out. That is not what I asked for. And hey, I'm sorry, Dash Baby. Okay, I didn't know that it was going to knock you out like that. What even went wrong? It looks like the seat over here got broken. It also just stopped right here. And oh, yeah, that's because I got the obsidian there. But hold on. Uh, do you want to try again? I, I can make it go backwards as well. Uh, I guess I'll try it again. And up here, I'll try standing here this time. And all right, all right, here, let me try activating again. Here we go. And all right, you guys gotta be careful. And no, Dash Baby, what did I just say? What the? I didn't know I was gonna knock me off like that. You know what? This hovercraft is horrible. What? No, Dash Baby, come on. It's not that bad, okay? I hate this hovercraft. It sucks. And uh, Dash Baby, did you just blow up the hovercraft? I spent so long on that. I don't care. It's shut. Oh my gosh. All right, well, fair enough. I, I guess I'll try to build something better next time. But I've still got a lot of other stuff inside of the house. Do you wanna come check it out? Oh yeah, let's check it out. Hopefully it isn't as bad as the hovercraft. All right, all right. Well, here, follow me right this way. Right over here is the food room. Dash, baby, what do you think? You can take a seat anywhere here, and then whenever you hit this button, it'll automatically give you the food. And, whoa, wait, you have an automatic food room? That's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's sick, right? Isn't it so futuristic? Yeah, automatic food rooms are awesome. Well, uh, Dad, I'm sorry to break it to you, but this is, like, show 200 years ago. You know, now in the future, we can just, like, think of whatever food we want, and we'll magically get it. And what? You guys can just think of food and get it? Uh... Okay, well, I don't really know how to do that yet. So this is kind of the best I got so far. Eh, it's all right. All right, well, what do we got on the menu? Uh, do you want to hit that button there? And yeah, yeah, here, Dash Baby, I'll hit the button. I'm going to hit it right now. And you can see what we have on the menu. Let me just press it in three, two, one. Here we go. And what do you think? And whoa, wait, Dad, is that a void apple? And yeah, yeah, Dash Baby, that's exactly what it is. I thought you guys would like it since, like, you know, you're in the future and it seems pretty futuristic. And hey, yo, who's that? You just stole my 
mine for it. I'm gonna give it back. I, I did, I did. Chill, chill. Yeah, don't make me use my laser blasters on you. All right, well, anyway, here, let me eat this void apple now. And, ooh, wait, baby dash, did you like it? And, uh, it tastes all right, but I've tasted riper. I have this ultimate stew thing. I don't know if I want to eat it. And wait, wait, hold on, hold on. You should definitely try eating it. Those are, like, my favorite foods ever. Well, I guess I'll just eat this right now. Um. And, all right, I actually don't know what those taste like. And, whoa, whoa, wait, are you all right? My stomach hurts. <laughs> I can't believe you fell for that. You fell for the oldest trick in the book. What do you mean? And, uh, did that touch baby? What the heck? What, what was that? Dude, don't you know? It's not actually an ultimate stew. It's a scam. It's literally poison. What? How was I supposed to know that? It looked like so cool and colorful. How do I fix it? My stomach hurts. And, oh, oh, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is just uh, light yourself on fire and it should get rid of it. Oh, okay. I don't have anything to do that with. And, oh, uh, she didn't do it quick enough. Oh, well, that was uh, pretty unfortunate. Uh, well, anyway, uh, what else do you have on this tour? Oh, that was awful. <laughs> get pranked. All right, uh, well, anyways, I've actually got a few other things if you guys would like to follow me right down over here. I've got a laser target practice course. What do you think of this, Dash Baby? Look, you have the minecarts over there, and they're bouncing up and around, and you have to shoot them with your lasers. And, wait, you do have laser shooting powers, right? I just assumed you do, because, like, you're in the future. And, yeah, yeah, of course I have laser shooting powers, Dad. Check this out. I could probably one shot all of these, but I can't really get over these fences. They're kind of tall. And oh, 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 wait, the fences are a problem. Okay, actually, hold on. I can fix that. All we need to do is just grab some stairs and let me just put these down over here like this for you. And all right, there you go. Uh, can you see the targets now? Oh, yeah, dad. Now this should be no problem. Here, let me just hit all of these targets one by one. Let's go. Let me hit this one over here first. And, whoa, wait, that's maybe your laser shooting powers are sick. Whoa, what the? Yeah, I know. It's pretty cool. I've been practicing for ages. <gasps> whoa, you just hit all of them. Oh, wow, your kid actually has pretty good aim. Yeah, I didn't expect that. Yeah, wait, Dad, you want to do a fight? And, uh, uh, wait, wait, what, like, like a fight, me and you? Yeah, 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 just like a fun, you know, laser blaster 1v1, me and you. Uh, here, take this laser blaster, it should be pretty epic. And, uh, uh, wait, 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 I'm not sure if this is really a good idea. I've never really used one of these things before. Ah! No, you should be fine. You know, it's a, it's a really easy skill to pick up. Uh, here, just, uh, you stay on that side of the room. I'll go over here on this side. And yeah, uh, Cam, count us down. Uh, okay, uh, 80, 79, 78. 77. Yo, hurry it up, old man. I, I'm sorry. I'm not old. You're old. Uh, uh, let's do uh, uh, three, two, one, go. And, oh, gosh, oh, gosh. We're really doing this. And, oh, gosh. Yo, chill, chill, chill. I didn't want to actually do this. <laughs> Too late, Dad. You're going down. Wait, is your kid beating you, Dash? And, uh, no, no, no. I'm, I'm not going to lose to my kid. And uh, the, the, Why am I in survival mode now? Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> I used my survival mode switcher on you, Dad. And, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. What the? Since when did you have a survival mode switcher? In? Come on. I have to win this. Take this. I'm zooming in. And, oh, my gosh. Am I missing? all my shots? Oh, wow, Dash, your aim is horrible. And, no, 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 it's not. Look, I'm about to win here. I just gotta hit him like this, and oh my gosh, I've literally missed all my shots right now. Come here! Alright, I'm getting bored of this old laser. I'm pulling up my upgraded one. And wait, what? You have an upgraded one? Whoa, what the heck is that? Hey, Dash, baby, chill, chill! Oh my gosh, what in the world just happened? Uh, GG's, I guess? Um, Dash, your baby is crazy! Oh my gosh, Dash, baby, what the heck was that? Oh, nothing. I just pulled out my upgraded laser module, but, uh, anyways, uh, what's next? Uh, okay, but, uh, the next thing, Dash, maybe I think you'll really like this. We have a parkour course. It is pretty sick, so all you gotta do is just start over here, and, uh, you just have to make it to the end of the parkour. It's actually, uh, pretty fun. And, oh, okay, a parkour course. These should be no problem. I've done a bunch of these. In the future, these are a lot harder. And, wait, they are, but, wait, have you ever seen a flying boat parkour? I bet you haven't seen this before. And, what? Uh, yeah, I have. This has been done, like, a thousand times before. I'm an expert at this. Wait, what? Someone did this before me in the future already? Oh, my gosh. Yeah, Dad, check it out. Look, I'm popping off here. Let me just go on this one. Easy. And now there's only one left. That was too easy. Wow, wait, you actually did that boat part pretty good. I thought it was gonna be a little bit harder. Wait, Dash, are these the lasers you were talking about earlier? And oh yeah, yeah, these are the lasers. And whoa, what the dash baby? It looks like you're popping off on the lasers as well. And oh yeah, these lasers are no problem for me. I'm actually excited for what the next part is, though. And oh, oh yeah, yeah, the next part is really sick. Pretty much what you have to do is hop on each one of the hovercraft thingies and just make it to the other side. Oh, wait, this looks like no problem, Dad. Here, I'm gonna get started. Let's go! And whoa, okay, wait, it looks like you're doing pretty good so far. Wait, are you just like riding this one? Yeah, Dad. Here, look, that's the plan. I'm just gonna keep riding it until I can jump onto the next one like that. Whoa, wait, that's actually a clever strategy. And wait, it looks like the next few are pretty easy. Whoa, wait, it looks like your kid's actually doing pretty good. And whoa, yeah, Dash Baby, it looks like you only got a few jumps left. And oh, nice. Whoa, wait, did you like wait for it to stop when you did it? And yeah, I kind of got like a whole strategy down now. This is pretty easy. And whoa, okay, that is pretty smart. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, this is 
no problem. I've only got a few jumps left now. Oh, wait, you're actually doing so much better at this parkour than I thought. You have not fallen off a single time. Yep, I know. I just got one more jump to do, so here we go. Let's go. And now I just have to make it to that platform over there. And yep, you got it. It should be pretty easy for you. Just jump onto the platform and let's go. And now the rest of these jumps are all pretty simple. And oh yeah, there's no problem for me. Check this out, Dad. Whoa, wait, you just popped off there. All right, well, uh, yeah, I guess you finished the parkour. Yippee! Uh, wait, is that all of your tour dash? No, 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 no. You haven't even seen the bedroom yet. Oh, yeah, right. The bedroom. That's like the most important part. And yeah, yeah, exactly. So here, uh, Dash Baby, follow me right this way. We got to head upstairs for the bedroom. It is on the second floor of the house. So right up over here. Oh, wait, you have bedrooms? My bedroom better be like super big. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, Dash Baby. Both of the bedrooms are like equal size and they're both pretty huge. Check it out. This is your room right over here. What do you think? Ooh, okay. This is a uh, kind of nice way. Why is the bed so small? What? small? What are you talking about? It's a double bed. This is huge. Uh, no, I think we gotta just uh, extend this a little bit. There we go. That's more like it. Oh, dude, you barely even take up oh, half of one bed. What do you need four beds for? I like the options. Um, all right, if you say so, but what do you think about the rest of the room? See, we got the glass over here. We got the, the desk over here, the bookshelves. Uh, it's kind of cramped. I'm not gonna lie. I'm just gonna tear it on this wall. And oh, wait, yeah, actually, that's maybe that's my room right over there. I see. You wanna connect them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Connecting them kind of. Uh, all right. There's my room now. Everyone get out. Get out? We just got here to see what it looked like. And, wait, wait, no. That's baby. This was my room. Oh, what? Did he just take over your room? Uh, no. Uh, there's my room now. Can you guys get out? I, I want to play some video games. The What? Uh, uh, you're just kicking me out of my own room? Yeah, go build another room or something. And what in the world? Oh, okay, I, I guess I just got kicked out of the, my own room. Um, well, was that the end of your tour? And, uh, pretty much. I mean, I have one more thing over here. I've got a washroom. Wait, 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 wait. You have a bathroom? Hold on. Wait, Dad, I want to show you something. Wait, and wait. What you do? Hold on. What is it? I, I, I just gotta clear out this wall over here, and now I can fly! And uh, what in the world? Wait, where did he go? Did you just fly the bathtub? Yeah, it's a cool trick I learned from the future. I'm not gonna lie. This hovercraft is way better than the one you built. Yo, give me one of those. What in the world? Wait, Cam, it's kind of funny. My kid found out how to make a bathtub fly, but you couldn't figure out how to make your things fly. That's maybe I'll pay you 50 glorps each if you uh teach me how to make these things fly. And oh, 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 uh, uh, ignore him, Dash Baby. He's a scam. Her. Dash baby, no, I'm not. I'm just laying on my plane. We'll talk business soon. Uh, okay, I'm heading there now. And oh, uh, I guess he, he's gonna talk to you later. All right, but anyways, that was my entire house. Well, that was pretty cool, Dash. Let's go. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now. My ship! I was testing.